So apparently some people did not like my take on Outer Terror. So I've decided that I'm going to do a really quick video, namely just to show the crash. The crashings or crashes, whatever you want to call it. I had a few people in there saying, well, it didn't crash for me. It didn't crash. It's not supposed to crash. So I want to be clear on something. This was not something that it took me even more than one try to get a crash. Honestly, that's how much confidence I had is I decided, all right, I'm going to fire it up, get to the boss, get towards the end of the level. And then I'm just going to record. Now, again, this usually is like a 28 minute process. And I have other games I should be recording, but I just wanted to prove my point that this game, it broken. It crashes all the time, and especially at the worst time, which is after you've already done all of the junk and you fought a very spongy boss, and here you go, it just crashes. So, again, I had 100% confidence that this would do it because I had played this level so many times and had this happen so many times. And of course, that's what happened. Now, I really didn't want to emphasize just how bad this was when I was reviewing the game because I actually kind of like the game. I just wish they would fix it. And I figured if I spent a lot of time going into the amount of crashes it has and other issues it has, people wouldn't give it a chance even later on after it got a patch or an update. But there again, I had enough people who maybe they're just huge fans of the game. Maybe they helped work on the game. I don't know. But enough who really question my integrity and even insinuate that I would lie. What would be my point, by the way? What would be the purpose of lying about a game crashing or having problems? It just doesn't make sense. The other thing that they did was they blamed the Switch. And that's fine, you can do that. Although, let's be fair, the Switch is outdated. I will agree with that 100%. And anyone who thinks that I'm just like a Nintendo fanboy or a Switch super fan, no, I know it has limitations and it has problems. But let me ask you a question. Do you think Outer Terror is a better looking, better performing game than, I don't know, Prince of Persia? No, Unicorn Overlord. Probably not, no? Right? Well, how come it can run those games? So, are you arguing that you think Outer Terror is so much more taxing than Prince of Persia? Mario Wonder? Come on. That's, that's a weak argument. The real answer is it wasn't ported correctly. And it does need some sort of balancing update needs patch. I don't know how this stuff works. That's not what I do. What I am saying is there's definitely an issue with this version and I'm not going to lie to people, especially my audience, the people who actually give me their time. I'm not going to lie to them to cover for a game, to spend their hard-earned money on a game that's broken. We do have an unspoken agreement. If I'm wrong about something, Admit it. And they call me out whenever I am wrong. But I also am honest with them. And that's what I'm saying. When I'm wrong, I'll admit it. But in this case, I'm not. And I really do care about their money and what they spend their money on. One of the things that I worry about more than anything is somebody saying, hey, I spent my money on this game that you said was good and it sucked. That really is like my top tier concern when I put out a video. Not how many views I get, not the monetization or if I'm making money off it. No, it's that. I really don't want anyone to waste their money on something that they may not like or doesn't work. Now, by the way, I just want to clarify. I don't think that Vox Pop is involved in these people who are messaging me and commenting and all this stuff. And it's fine. Like, if you're just a real big fan of the game and you don't believe me, here's the video. First try, it crashed. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Take care, everyone. Love y'all. Bye-bye.